Hello, friends. I wanted to talk to you and tell you about a feature in Canvas that you may or may not already know about. It is the Outcomes and the Learning Mastery Gradebook. So I'm going to, going to walk through that process. This is more of a competency-based or standards-based approach to, um, to grading. Um, you can use points or you can just use colors. I just like to use the colors so that the points don't get, get, get confused with an actual score. This is a good uh, thing to use if you're doing a process, like the writing process, or the, you're learning something over time and you can show growth um, in that way. So let me take you through that process. I want to share my screen with you, and I think, think you can see it now. It is, um, first we're going to start with turning on the Learning Mastery Gradebook. You go to Settings in Canvas. Then you're going to go to Feature Options. You're going to toggle on the Learning Mastery Gradebook so that you can see your gradebook and turn on the Student Learning Mastery Gradebook so they can see their um, gradebook also. They can toggle back and forth between um, the actual grades and this Learning Mastery, which is more like a competency-based or a standards-based. Okay, so we got those turned on. Now we're going to go into Out outcomes. So an outcome is what Canvas calls your standards. Okay, so I'm going to find an outcome. I need an outcome. Um, an outcome is your, is your standards. And you're going to find that. Don't um, just click the word find on this page. So if you are uh, reading or math, that's Common Core. If you're any other subject, that is account standards. I'm going to click account standards because I do science. And so I click news charter school. I'm going to click the second one. It's going to populate. I'm going to click North Carolina standards. I'm going to go to essential standards for me for science. And then I'm going to go down here to science and click my grade level. Then I need to know which one I'm going to use. I want to, um, let's just say I want to add one about ecosystems. So I click that and then I find and drill down to find exactly the one I want to use. So here it is and it compared the characteristics, blah, blah, blah. I got that. I love it. Okay. So that is the outcome that the students are going to try to meet. They will get five points or bright, um, like dark green. Um, if they exceed, if they meet expectations, they get a uh, light green or three points. If they do not meet, they get an orange. If they um, really don't meet it, they get a red. Okay, but to master it, they needed a, something in green. Um, and so at least they get three points. Now, if they exceed their mastery, they're going to get more than three points. So it's going to look like a fraction. Um, three out of three is meeting. Like five out of three or four out of three um, is actually exceeding. So the, the fraction could be a little mi um, kind of mixed like that. All right. So improper. So let's go. OK, I, I'm, I'm going to select that. That's great. Got it. And down here in the bottom, it will say select. I mean, you can't see that at the moment because my face is in the way of the screen. OK, so I got my I got my um, I, did, I did. I did not actually select it just then because I don't need it at this moment. But I have three that I do need for my um, assignment. Now you're going to go to an assignment. You're going to add um, a rubric to an assignment. It's a little bit tricky in Canvas because you have to make the assignment first. Oh, that's an announcement. Like I can read. Thank you. Assignment. You have to go into the assignment, make the assignment, save it, and then you can add the rubric or the outcome after that. So I have already created an assignment that I want to add this outcome to. Um, and it's about writing because this is a process. So I'm going to write about the human body system. Here is my instructions that I already typed. I gave them a choice of what they write about. I gave them the format of the writing. And then I tell them how. Um, the dark green colors, um, and I'll probably go back in here and highlight these and color these words, dark green, light green, orange, and red. But as you see, I've already made this assignment. So you make the assignment, save it, and then go back to the very bottom. It says add rubric. So you go add the rubric. Now, some rubric, <laughs> that's a generic title. You're going to um, change that name and you're going to name it um, writing um, 
Hmm, let's see. It's about the human body. So I'm going to name it human body. Human body rubric. Okay. Um, but I want to find the outcome that I just um, just found. So I'm going to find that outcome. Let's see. I believe I need the one. This one. This is the one I need. So let's see if I can move my face. I want to import that. Okay. Move my face back. Now, he gives you some, here it is right here. So there is the outcome, and there's a little target. That's the, that's the target outcome, their um, competency or their standard they're going to use. Here are the points. Um, and here are some other criteria. I'm not going to use that, so I'm going to delete that. If you want to add some more writing criteria or some other kind of criteria to your rubric, this is where you would do that. I'm going to delete that space. And now I just have my outcome. I uh, like when I you have some choices down here, I'm going to remove the points from the outcome, and now it'll just be showing up as colors. Okay, I do want to um, post this to the outcome learning mastery gradebook, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. All right, and I'm and I'll write freeform comments when assessing students, and I may do that later on. I may change my mind, but right now I'm going to remove the points, and that's all. I'm going to create the rubric. So there it is. There's the rubric. And so when you grade this assignment, you grade this by the rubric. All right. Let's see here. You can, let's see. Hold on. Let me check something else. Okay. If you leave the numbers, which you might want to do, if you leave the numbers, I can use this rubric for assignment grading. So actually, let me change my mind. I'm going to use the numbers and the colors. So when I do this, when you go to grade something in speed grader, you can just click the box that you would like um, that responds to their, or corresponds to their writing. So if they just meet it, you can just click that three point box. It'll automatically put a three in their um, score and um, then you can move on to the next student. You don't have to actually click this and then click that. You just do one click into the um, rubric and it'll automatically put that score in the score box. So let's use that. Use this rubric for assignment grading update rubric. All right, uh -huh, and leave different. Okay, cool. All right, so that's it. That's it. So now let me go to grades and show you what that looks like. Actually, let me give you a sample. So this is a sample. So when you go to your grade book, oh, let me show you how to get to grade book. When you go to your grade book, of course, you're going to see all your grades. Um, and then you can toggle between your grade book and your learning mastery. So just for a moment, um, at the top, you will see view. And this is where you would toggle between grade book and um, learning mastery. So this is where you would find that toggle. Okay. Grade book and learning mastery. Here we go. So, of course, I haven't scored anything, but when I do, the... Colors will show up right there in their boxes, what I, I choose. And this is what a sample of what it would look like. So you have the numbers here, looks like improper fractions, some of them. And there are some green and orange boxes for the students who need to work through their mastery. That's a lot of information in this one little video. But if you have any questions, please reach out to me and I'll be glad to walk you through that process again to use this. And you can toggle back and forth and teach your students how to do this, especially if you're learning something over time, like the, a, a multiplication table, or you're doing a big writing um, assignment in your class. All right. Thank you, friends.